All the homes west of us, south of us, east, north, they were all gone, burned to the ground. Ours had not. For me, at first, I was I was happy. I was glad. I was thinking that, oh, good, okay, we can, we can go forward quickly now. As we learned over the subsequent months, um, we were actually one of the unlucky ones. We would have been much better off had the house burned to the ground. The flames over my back fence were five to seven feet tall. When I saw that, I just, I stopped and I looked and I just said to myself, well, I can kiss it goodbye uh, because there, you don't argue with mother nature. We're now two years later yeah. And the insurance company and their adjusters, and we've now gone through five or six of them, they keep on changing them. We still haven't agreed on what the damages are. They still do not want to admit that our house was infused with toxic chemicals that have permeated every... Uh, Four. You walk in, your eyes start itching and burning, burning and, and you start tearing. You get itchy if you have any exposed skin. You start developing a cough yep. that may take days to go away after you're away, away from the house. Um, um, it's still, if we go over to the house, I can't stay in it very long because my eyes and, and so forth. Right. And, and you just um, end up having to um, blow your nose all the time. They just are totally unreceptive to damages that, unless it's burnt and their ashes on the ground, they don't believe anything happened to it. There, there are people that are downwind from this fire where the fire stopped burning homes, but where the smoke, their insurance companies are, are literally doing almost nothing. 